Hello everyone, welcome back to another exciting After Effects tutorial. In this video, I will show you how to create a modern glitch text animation in After Effects with a cyberpunk neon style. So let's get started. Right now, we are in After Effects, and first things first, let's create a new composition and name it Main Comp. The resolution of this composition will be 1920 by 1080 pixels, and the rest of the settings can be seen on the screen. Then click OK. Alright, now simply select the text tool and write anything in this composition. For your information, I'm using the Montserrat font for this animation. After that, simply align this text to the center of the composition. Let me zoom in a little bit, then select the text layer, then simply open the text layer. Here you will see this icon, simply click on it to see the options. Next, select the opacity option. After that, open the range selector one, and under this, you will find the start property. Simply click on the stopwatch to create a keyframe. Now drag the time indicator to one second and change the start value to 100%. After that, change the opacity value to 0%. Right now it fades in linearly from left to right, but I want it to appear randomly on the screen. So simply open the advanced settings, and under these settings you will find the randomize order option. Simply turn it on. Now you can see our text appearing randomly on the screen. Let's close Animator 1. After that, once again click this icon, and this time choose Tracking. Select Tracking Amount, and click on the stopwatch to create a keyframe. Then set the time indicator at the first frame, and change the tracking amount to minus 58. Then simply close Animator 2. Once more, click this icon, and this time choose Character Offset. Now simply select the Character Offset value, and change it to 43. Then, open the Range Selector, and under the Range Selector, you will find the Offset value. Simply click on the stopwatch to add a keyframe. Next, move the Time Indicator to the first frame, and change the Offset value to 100%. Now check the animation. Let's close Animator 3. One last time, click this icon and add a tracking option. Select the tracking amount, and change the value to 30. Basically, this value controls the text expansion, so you can set it according to your preference. For now, I set it to 30. Then I click on the stopwatch to add a keyframe, and then I go back to the first frame, and change the value to 0%. Alright, let's close Animator 4 as well. After that, press U on the keyboard to see all the keyframes. Then select all the keyframes, and change them to Bezier keyframes. Now, go to the Graph Editor, and adjust the graph like this. If you'd like, you can change the offset keyframe position to around the 20th frame. Yeah, that looks much better. Alright, let's close the properties of this text and go to the Effects panel. Then search for the Minimax effect. Simply select it and drop it on the text layer. Make sure the time indicator is placed at the 1 second mark. Then go to the Effects panel, click on the Radius Stopwatch to create a keyframe, and then change the operation mode from Maximum to Minimum. Set the channel to Alpha and Color. Lastly, change the Direction option to just Horizontal. Now go back to the first frame and change the Radius value to around 34%. Check the RAM preview. Alright, after that, go to the Effects panel again and search for Turbulent Noise. Simply click and drag it onto the text layer. Then, in the Effects panel, choose the Noise type as Block. Now find the option called Evolution. Pay attention here if you're a beginner. Carefully hold Alt on the keyboard and click on the stopwatch button. When you do this, an expression window will open in the timeline. Simply click on the expression window. 
Then type this simple expression. Click anywhere in the timeline and you'll see the turbulent noise animation happening in the text. Alright, now again go to the effects panel and search for the colorama effect. Simply apply it to the text. Then go to the effects panel and open the output cycle. Under the output cycle you'll see a color wheel. Using this color wheel you can change the color of the text according to your needs. Next, find the modify option. Simply open it. If you look carefully, you'll see jittery effects on the outside of the text. We need to remove that, so simply uncheck the Modify Alpha checkbox to remove the jittery effect. Now it looks much better than before. After that, go to the Effects panel again and search for the Glow effect. Apply it to the text layer. Next, go to the Effects panel again and apply the CC Composite effect to the text layer. Now find the Glow effect in the Effects panel. Click on the Glow Intensity stopwatch to add a keyframe at the 1 second mark. Change the Glow Intensity to 0%. Then, under the Colorama effect, find the Blend with Original option. Click on the stopwatch to create a keyframe and change the value to 100%. Press U on the keyboard to see both keyframes we just created. Go back to the first keyframe and change the glow intensity to 1% and set blend with original to 0%. Now check the animation by dragging the time indicator. Next, select the keyframes and change them to Bezier keyframes. Go to the effects panel, select the glow effect and duplicate it. Now drag the time indicator to around the 8th or 9th frame. Change the threshold value to around 80%. Then change the glow radius to around 40%. Now check the RAM preview. The animation is almost complete. And it's looking good. After that, close the text layer and create a new solid layer. Name this layer Noise. Then click OK. Next, go to the Effects panel and search for Turbulent Noise. Apply this effect to the Noise layer. Then go to the Effects panel and change the Noise Type to Block. Open the Transform option. Under the Transform option, you'll find Scale. Simply uncheck Uniform Scaling. Now change the Scale Width to around 200 and the Scale Height to 40%. Find the Evolution option. Once again, hold Alt on the keyboard and click on the stopwatch to open the expression window in the timeline. Click in the expression window and type this expression. Click anywhere in the timeline and you'll see the effect on the composition. After that, go to the effects panel and change the contrast value to around 140% and the brightness to minus 20%. Nice. Close the noise layer and hide it. Then select the text layer. Go to the Effects panel and search for Displacement Map. Apply this effect to the text layer. In the Effects panel, change the Displacement Map layer to Noise. Then change the source to Effects and Masks. Now change the Max Vertical Displacement value to 0%. Move the Time Indicator to around the 10th frame. Then change the Max Horizontal Displacement value to 9. Click on the stopwatch to create a keyframe and press U to see the keyframe. Now drag the time indicator to the first frame and change the value to 0%. Move the time indicator to around the 15th frame and change the value back to 0%. Check the animation by dragging the time indicator. If everything looks good, check the RAM preview. That's how you can create a cyberpunk-style glitch text animation in Adobe After Effects without any plugins. But wait, I have one more bonus tip for you. If you rename the text and play the animation, you'll see the glitch effects remain the same. This means you can change the font and rename the text, but the effects will stay intact. 
If you learned something new from this tutorial, you can support me and my channel. The support link is in the description below. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.